Hello and welcome to another Core Electronics tutorial. Today we're going to be taking another look at CircuitScribe with the eyes of educators in mind. So it's all about how you can bring CircuitScribe, bring that STEM learning goodness into a classroom. So if you're not sure what CircuitScribe is, take a look at our Getting Started with CircuitScribe. It goes a little bit more in depth as to what CircuitScribe is, how it works, how the special conductive pen uh, works and some tips and tricks. But today, yeah, as I said, we're going to be looking at how, uh, what it brings to the classroom, how it differs from all of the other STEM products that are out there um, and how, you know, which kit is going to be best in an educational setting. So there's two main kits that we're going to be looking at uh, in the eyes of educators. We've put those together as bundles on our site. Uh, we've got the uh, basic kit and the maker kit and the educator versions come in 10 packs of these. Uh, the maker kit comes with a few more extras added on there, some extra pens, extra resources uh, in case things go missing uh, in a classroom as they usually do. The basic kit is just the 10 basic kits. Uh, but today let's look at why it is you would use CircuitScribe in a classroom. So CircuitScribe is fantastic. I really love it and I've gotten to understand the heart behind CircuitScribe a little bit more as I've gotten hands on with it. And the idea is that you don't need any special tools or equipment to create a circuit from scratch. And I'm not talking about just connecting up uh, modules in a, you know, a, a color by numbers approach, but you can actually create your own circuits however you want using this really, really cool silver pen. So it's got conductive ink, it's got, uh, it's got silver um, in with the, the rest of the ink, which makes it uh, highly conductive, it works really well when it dries, uh, it dries very quickly. It stays conductive for ages, we haven't actually done a test on how long it stays, but according to the circuit scribe guys, it's pretty much, pretty much a very long time, which is really, really cool. So it's not going to dry out on you in a couple of weeks and become unusable. So in this kit, we've got a couple of different modules and the idea of CircuitScribe is that you have these modules uh, which you connect together um, using the steel backing plate. So if I take this, uh, this case off, we've got a nice and large uh, steel backing plate, which these modules, they have magnetic, uh, magnetic connectors. So they simply snap on like that. There's no soldering, there's no, uh, no mess, no wires to worry about at all. They all just clip on, which is really cool. So this basic kit comes with uh, six different modules, you've got uh, two different LEDs, uh, an expander connection module, uh, a switch, really neat power module, and a transistor which you can use as an electronic switch. Very, very cool stuff. So how exactly do they, uh, I guess the big question that educators I want to know is how do they bring something different to the table? There's so much STEM technology out there that it can often feel like you're wading through, you know, through mountains of, of new STEM products and technologies. Well, something I really like about CircuitScribe is that it simplifies the lower level stuff. It doesn't just cover it over and present it in a way that you know bypasses any understanding of electronic components at a really, really low discrete level. On this uh, this module, it's just an LED that you need to get using it. It's, it's a switch. It's uh, you know, a, a battery connector. It's all this stuff that doesn't just bundle it in, but it does it in a way that's really, really easy to get started. You don't need to know anything previously about electronics. Uh, you don't need to use any maths, any wires, any special techniques. You just draw your circuit, which is really cool. So a quick, quick example, we've got this. They include a nice template, which has all of the, uh, the footprints of the circuit scribe module. So you can uh, draw on there. And the two kits, the basic and the uh, maker kits come with a really cool little workshop booklet. Um, so it's got some instructions, what circuit scribe is, uh, how you can use it, some tips and tricks. And we've got those uh, also on our getting started with circuit scribe tutorial. A bit about what voltage is, some electronic concepts are really handy for a teacher's handbook as well so you can get to know uh, what you're dealing with. And then it's got all these different example circuits. So CircuitScribe don't just leave you, you know, high and dry, uh, left to your own devices to create lesson plans, to create resources and contents, engaging material that's going to keep kids coming back uh, with an interest in STEM technology. It's got all of these different circuits which by themselves could be a whole project or a whole afternoon's um, you know, techno technological based arts and craft lesson. It's really cool. But along with these example circuits, once you get over them, it's got some challenge circuits which uh, introduce something a little bit more hands-on and meaty. Uh, but you can also create your own and we'll go through exactly how easy that is. So let's say you're doing, you know, an arts and craft project and you want to you want to create a Christmas card, for example. So you could take, we'll start by drawing our circuits. We put our steel backing plate, move those underneath our paper. All right, and we'll use the template to draw out the first uh, lot of pads for our power module. 
make sure it's nice and filled in. That's something really important. It's you know, often why a lot of circuits won't work because uh, there's gaps in the pad or it's not uh, properly colored in. So something to watch out for. So we've got uh, the pads for our power module. You can see that it'll just snap on, clip on there. Super, super cool. Now, what are we going to connect up to? Well, let's look at connecting up perhaps some LEDs with an on-off switch, something fairly simple. So first of all, I'm gonna put a plus and a minus on our circuit so we know which way is which. We connect it up correctly. Although the beauty of circuits, uh, circuit scribe, something I do love about it. Uh, and I mentioned, I went on about this in the getting started tutorial because I think it's super valuable. There's a lot of attention to detail here where you've got, uh, you've got protection against accidental shorts. You've got all this stuff which makes it really easy to get started, particularly for educators. So we've got a plus and a minus there. Uh, now we'll take our switch and we'll put this in series with the rest of our circuit. Put it this way so it's a little bit easier to see what's going on. So we'll draw our pads. And this can apply to anything. You, I'm just drawing a, a random circuit on some paper, but you could use it to create uh, you know, craft, craft exercises, Christmas cards, um, little paper cities built using circuit scribes. So we've got our switch now. All right, so I want those two to connect. So I just draw a nice thick trace connecting up the two of those. Now the LED modules are especially cool because they don't have a particular polarity that's required for them to work. And what this means is with a normal uh, LED, just a discrete component, you would have to uh, put it a certain way in your circuit in order for it to correctly light up, otherwise you can risk damaging the LED. But there's actually two LEDs built into this, one which allows current to flow in one direction, one that allows current to flow in the other direction. So all that happens is if you change the way it's connected in your circuit, it changes colors. Really, really cool. So we'll add two of those in so we can get two different colors uh, in our circuit. So from there, that's going to be our switch. I'll draw a little switch symbol so that I can know that's our switch. Cool, cool. So from there, two LEDs. Let's get one here. Again, making sure to fill those pads in correctly. And one here. Let's put another one right next to it so we can create a few different colors. All right, so we've got one there and one there. Awesome. I'm gonna go and connect all of those up and this doesn't require any special knowledge of, um, you know, of electronics or maths or any engineering, anything like that. It's a low level product, which makes it really easy to get started. I'm just connecting two LEDs up next to each other and it's got guidelines for how you can do this in the book. And then we'll take this one Connect it all the way back to our power module, ensuring it's got a nice, nice wide trace without any breaks in it. All right, cool, cool. So we'll put that on top of our, uh, our steel sheet so the magnetic modules just attach. And I'm going to put everything but the, uh, but the uh, power module in so I can make sure that the circuit's connected up correctly before I attach power. So this power module has a, a room for a nine volt battery clip. So we'll go ahead and get that one sorted. All right, so we'll connect our battery up like that. All right, and attach our module, ensuring that we've got the plus and the minus the right way. So first of all, we have to turn power on. So power is now on. I've got that little blue indicator letting me know that power is on. And there's another little LED here, which is for sh uh, short, which means if something happened and you've shorted out your power module, which can potentially damage anything, it actually has a bit of protection against that and lets you know with a nice um, bright red LED, which is cool. So now we'll turn our switch on. And we've got our LEDs uh, lighting up, which is awesome. If we reverse this one, we can see it will become red. Reverse this one, we'll see it uh, will just become blue. And that's how easy it is to get started with circuit scribe in a classroom setting. It's got everything you need, uh, pens, you can use any paper you want. I, I've used post-it notes for some circuits, just making you know really easy craft ideas that kids are going to love. Now, Circuit Scribe is uh, particularly useful for kids uh, between the ages of, I'd say seven to 14 as, as a rough estimate, but it's going to depend, uh, of course, uniquely on the, the student. Some younger kids might just love it um, and really get, uh, get a good grip on it. And some older kids might find really unique and interesting ways to use some of the modules uh, to create more complex and advanced uh, circuits and projects. So that's a few, a few tips, a few tricks, a few things we love about Circuit Scribe. So of course, back to the kits. Uh, I mentioned we've got the Maker Kit and the Basic Kit. Uh, there's a bit of a price difference between them, but if you're looking at which one's going to be better, it really just depends on how many students you want to engage with. So as I said, the, uh, the Maker Kit um, has 11 modules per kit, whereas the Basic Kit uh, has six. 
So there's a lot more depth to be had there, and you can also break those modules up into to different groups. But it allows for a really uh, a really great collaborative learning environment. I'd say one to three kids is probably ideal uh, in a group. Uh, with circuit scribe because there's there's a limited amount that can be done at one time you've got uh, you know drawing the circuit finding the modules but then you can also if you're in a group of three you can have uh, a student creating uh, you know perhaps creating a paper diorama to which you're going to attach the modules someone figuring out what the circuit's going to do another working on how you're going to connect all the traces up there's all these different problem solving uh, challenges and tasks that come up when uh, you explore the creativity with circuit scribe which is you know is what it's all about so you get you get that as I mentioned, uh, five additional pens plus a workbook or well, workbooks with uh, the maker kit. Uh, it's just the kits with the with the basic kit. And as a rough guide, I'd say ten to thirty students for the maker kit, and perhaps ten to twenty students with the basic kit. There's just a bit more depth that you can get with uh, with those maker kits. But that's that's circuit scribe. We love it, uh, especially for educators, because as I, as I said, I, I keep going on about it. But it's so so cool that such uh, a fundamental part of electronics can be broken down into snappable magnetic uh, bits and conductive ink. It's it's really, really awesome. So Educators Circuit Scribe is fantastic. I encourage you to try out, perhaps grab one of our mini kits uh, or just a single basic kit, try it out, see if it's gonna work uh, in your classroom. Then as I said, we've got those educational packs which are ready to go uh, designed for classrooms. So I'll see you next time, guys.